Well, here I am at Rylet. Interesting artwork here. Hope you're going to enjoy this. I know I am. <laughs> This sculpture is referred to as the Last Supper. Jesus and the 12 disciples. Are you counting? There's 13 of them. The museum began in 1984 and this was the first installation. It was created by a Belgian artist named Albert Suzowski. And this is, of course, the Last Supper. His creation was done by posing models in wet clothing soaked in plaster of Paris and then he would slip them away. Later he took fiberglass and put it over the the molding the plaster of Paris to make it impervious to weather. There people are sitting on the Last Supper. Is this another form of Ghost Rider? Although the tires are in need of some repair. Look at that. Interesting. And there's a labyrinth here. Walk around that. Spiral, labyrinth, whatever you want to call it. And I would say this is an artist at work. The reason I say that is because of the color palettes on the paint easel. Not easel, but paint palette tray. Kind of unique. This is Ikara. Ikara represents a female counterpoint to the Greek myth of Icarus, the boy who tried to fly to the sun with wings bound with wax. This is interesting. A bird, I would think, of some sort. Origami. 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 Yeah, that one. <laughs> okay, origami stub says, Sea Dub's Journey says, origami. This is referred to as the Pink Lady. yellow hair looks like she's got a box back in <laughs> not sure what this symbolizes or what the purpose of this is it's not squares well they're squares but they're not lined up they're sort of a triangle at the bottom and top it's interesting this is art of course we need to walk through it don't we And if you zoom through it, you got the pink lady. Let's walk through and see what we got. See what happens. Here's the back side of the Last Supper sculpture. Look at all the stacked rocks, Karens, I guess you call them. Interesting. Got the couch. Fragile, sit gently, no groups. The 
It looks like it's rotting away right there. Nice. <laughs> Got a place for the ashtray. Cool. Here in Rylett, Nevada, and this is all referred to as an open air museum. Price is right, it's free. Okay, this is the Las Vegas and Tonopah Railroad Depot. It was completed around June of 1908. And that was about the time Rhyolite began its slow decline. Within months of completion, more people were leaving Rhyolite through the depot than were arriving. The railroad turned a small profit until 1919 when it was finally dismantled. Ah, take that back. The railroad turned a small profit in 1908, but lost money every year following until it was finally dismantled in 1919. Since the 30s, the depot has passed from person to person, eventually ending up with the Barrick Mine Company. However, in October of 2000, the Bureau of Land Management acquired the depot along with most of the Reliant, Reliant Town site from the mining company in a land swap. All right, we're going into the train depot area. Of course, it's all boarded up, so we won't be able to go inside. But we're going to take a look around, see what we can see. Too shine. And we come to the end, pretty much. This is an old bank building. What remains, that's how well they were doing during the gold rush here. The Cook Bank building. That's what it looked like. three stories tall. This is what the jailhouse looked like and that's what it looks like now. <laughs> Evidently this is what Rhyolite looked like in its heyday and believe it or not I'm standing in the red light district. How about that? Got a building over there. Must have been the brothel. And then over here is another building. We're going to go look at that. Here we have a miner's cabin. They use cast in place rubble and adobe construction, which was typical in Rhyolite. There's a picture of what it looked like. And that's how I know it's a miner's cabin. <laughs> Sign told me so. the various bottles they used and here they even got some liquor bottles maybe square bottles adobe and bottles
Bottle House. How cool is that? I've actually seen a video on it. Front porch, side, back. Here they use different color bottles. I'm guessing those darker ones are probably beer bottles. And this wall, so all four, all main walls are beer, are bottles. Hence the term bottle house. Cut away some of that mountain there, hill, for mining purposes. Hey everyone, hope you're having fun. I am, and you should be too. Well, Betty and Rose are having wine time again, and... Betty had something that was really bothering her, so she asked Rose, she says, Rose, what's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? And Rose had an answer. Rose said, a crocodile will see you in a while, an alligator will see you later.